What's up guys? Welcome back to the next episode of Final Fantasy 7. Let's continue. Even after all that fighting, no one's coming for us? No need. This is Shinra City. We probably have cameras everywhere. Why didn't you say something sooner? Way too late to bail now. It's like walking a tightrope. When you're on it, only two ways off. <sighs> Better keep my balance. We'll be good at it. I wonder. <laughs> Alright. Almost there. Tifa? It's nothing. Just thinking about the next step. Do you think I'll be this nervous? Some things. Oh, well, Another Moogle medal. Yeah, give me all the Moogle medals. Still don't know what the purpose of them were, but Moogle medal it up. <laughs> Mercy. Where's he? <laughs> Wait, Cloud. Where's Jesse and Wedge? Report. Top side's going nuts after some terrorists jumped off a train. Nice and quiet here, though. So quiet I had no trouble securing your route into the reactor. You magnificent son of a bitch! Bring it in! So, where are Come the others? On, man. Jesse got Come hurt on, man. and couldn't make it. Bad? Not so bad she couldn't rope in this guy. <sighs> Thanks for stepping up. It's a job. Worked out pretty good, you picking that train you did. While Shinra scours Sector 4, you can waltz right on into Sector 5. It's a bit of a squeeze, but it ought to get you where you need to go. A little dark and foreboding for my taste. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh, and you'll be needing your grappling guns, of course. All set? Ready to take on the world and then some. Make sure everyone gets clear, okay? Will do. Keep these grappling guns close. <laughs> Secure them to your belt or whatever so you don't lose them. When we're done, we'll be using these babies to get down safe. All of us. Got it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Biggs almost got his head chopped off. <laughs> oh, they trap is sprung. What's to the left? The left. Wait. Hurry it up. Fix those lights. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Your tie. Quickly now. Quickly. Hmm. So they know what they know we're in Reactor Five. That's it. That's the smell. This place reeks of Mako. Looks like we made it. Layout's the same as Reactor One. Yeah, we're near Mako storage. Let's move. I have a weird feeling this is not going to end well for us. I'm not seeing a way down. Here, maybe? Well, now, that could work. I'm next. Just 
scary, huh? It's all in the mind. Hmm? Fist! What do we get? Three high potions. Hey, check it out. They sick this big boy on us? We'd be screwed six ways from Sunday. Mechanized units like these were designed to take out giant monsters. Probably a new prototype. If they do decide to deploy it, then our best bet would be to run like hell. Oof. Then let's hope he sleeps through the explosion. Yeah. I have a weird feeling. He's not. We're going to be fighting him. That's what they were talking about. The prototype not wanting to work. Moon drive. Oh, yeah, another one in the bag. Oh, I forgot. Wasn't I doing something with them? Right, he's finished his. He finished his, and he has now a new gun. Lifesaver. Take damage intended for other party members. Restores now is HP. One time only during activation. Hmm. I lose a lot of damage, but I gain magic. Let's upgrade Baird's new machine gun. Magic, defense, new materia. Attack damage plus 5% boost. We'll do that one. And then we got attack power, magic, max HP. We'll do attack power. And then we can do one more. Magic attack plus 6. the new gun. We only lose nine attack now. But the good thing is he has healing, so he already has the healing in materia, so that's the cool thing about it. And he also has the auto cure. This just seemed like this just common sense spells out trap. Don't overdo it. All set. Yes. Too easy. Got it. 
Ether. And then we're gonna fight two of these sleepers, sweepers. Well, well, what we got here? First, I can deal with those things. The um, okay, the one increases my vitality, which increases your defense by two percent. He has a ton of health. Well, that and the fact that potions really don't heal much. Right. 
here comes a boss fight. Soldier boy. Tifa. What? How much time we need? Got all the time in the world. This one comes with a remote detonator. Courtesy of Jesse. We withdraw to a safe distance. Then, kaboom! Safe distance? What? No such thing. <laughs> we get out the same way we got it. Let's double back. That's a lot of make of Mako. Like an ocean. Huh? What the? Where are you going? Weirdly perfect timing. <sighs> Wait a minute. Is someone watching us? by the terrorist group Avalanche. <laughs> Members of the group were observed entering the facility, and security is currently sweeping it for explosive devices. We now go live to the scene. I'm here in the Sector 5 Undercity. Having confirmed the terrorist target, you guys the Shinra Emergency Operation Center has issued an evacuation advisory. Residents are outraged that the tragedy of Mako Reactor 1 was only the first attack in a campaign of violence. President Shinra has issued a statement providing assurances that the terrorists will soon be brought to justice. And so, to a people beset by chaos and uncertainty, we will offer the finest comfort, bread and service. The big boy! I give you Shinra's latest triumph of technology! The Air Buster, your executioner! Huh? <laughs> Engineering on the line. Currently, the air buster is only 60% operational. The estimates were optimistic. I'm on air! <laughs> to the imbecile in charge down there. You are here by order to seize those intruders and bring them to me. <laughs> I'm quietly announcing trouble! So hitting them with fire. Yeah. 
Bullshit news is already peddling their false bring narrative. Them to the command center right now. <sighs> so we're screwed. No, 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 hell no! Attention, Listen, all security forces. They want to turn this into a spectacle? Then the I say let's get them one. And bring them to the let's take center down Shinra's big ass mech in front of everybody. Okay. I'm the sold. The insurgents and bring them to the command center right now. Attention, all security forces. Subdue the insurgents and bring them to the command center immediately. I repeat. Subdue the insurgents and bring them to the command center right now. Oh. I'm on. Hit the little thingy. Attention, all security forces. <clears throat> Subdue the insurgents and bring them to you the command the center immediately. You heard the man. Get these components I repeat. from the Airbuster ASAP. Subdue the insurgents ready, and bring sir. them to the command center Opponent right outbound. now! V8! Copy, V8! Intruder! Take him out! <laughs> See what these bastards love to. <clears throat> Barry, Cloud. Cloud, check this out. It looks like a few of its components are still in transit. <laughs> we'll see about that. Could tamper a little with its loadout. And give ourselves an edge? There should be a console somewhere. This the console you talking about? Think you can get it to work? Needs a key card. Well, let's find it then. Grab that key card. Did you find it? Yeah. Good job. Now let's check out that console. M units, huh? I'm guessing that's some sort of component? Yep. An enhancement powered by liquefied materia. Sounds bad. Pretty sure I can divert this unit for disposal. Disposing of them units. Removing M units from the Air Buster will reduce the number of items it has at its disposable. While it, this does not directly affect the Air Buster's tactical performance, collecting the discarded items can give your party a much needed boost to the fight. Alright, that works. Dispose of one M unit, cost one key card? Yeah. Unit flagged for disposal. Just imagine in their faces when they find out. So far, so good. Right. Let's move.
Diverting M unit to disposal room. Two out of three. Okay. You think they're watching us? Even now? Yep. Probably got a live feed. Nothing we can do about it. Except smile for the folks at home. Outbound from B7. Copy. We've lost contact with B8. Send some men to check it out. We've got a schedule to keep. Huh. Intruders! Seize them! this time. Huh. Double the seven times. If we can find the two parts. Lightning material. Any cards? Just the one. Two choices. And only one single-use card. It's up to you, Cloud. So it's either their AI programming or their big bombshells. Let's say AI programming. That's their bombshells. What does an AI programming core do? Increases processing power dedicated to motor function computation. Makes it move real quick. A real quick giant robot, huh? That doesn't sound good. Anyway, we should weigh our options carefully. Uh, removing an Airbus's probing core hampers its tactical awareness and reduces the frequency at which it fires its finger beams and attack that stuns targets. Console talks about big bomber shells. You acquainted? We call them BBs. One's enough to blow you to hell and back. Could divert them and give it a couple less shots to take us out. Make the call. Removing the big bombs from the Airbuster will reduce the number of big bomb shells it has at its disposal. Big bomb shells hit your party hard. The fewer shells fired your way, the safer your party will be. 
I mean, quicker or party wipe. I think we'll get rid of the party wipe. Big bonus shell flag for disposal. Served all right. So where did we send the discarded stuff? To a storeroom for defective equipment, I'm guessing. That's so. You think these defective shells and programming cores might be valuable enough to warrant a little detour? Maybe. I say we grab them. Hmm. If we get that far. Oh. Alright guys, stay tuned for the next episode of Final Fantasy VII.